Hello people, Matrix are here. This is a tutorial on using um, text in Media Tracker. Um, I want to basically run you over some basics of how we deal with text in Media Tracker. I think the first thing to understand about um, doing this um, if you start thinking as Media Tracker, it, a few years ago when games first came out, they were known as video games. Um, and I think it's a really good way of thinking of it. When you're dealing with Media Tracker, you're actually dealing with a video. You're not dealing with you playing the game. Um, what we've done here, we've uh, recorded a Media Ghost, which is like recording a video. And I've placed a trigger in the track which will tell the game when to activate this part of the video when you're playing. So when you put text into a track, it's not like you're putting it into a document. You're actually placing a piece of video, text video, into a game. And that's the way you have to think of it. So, let me explain the way this works. I've uh, put a trigger on this track. Okay, I'm now going to add some text um, to this trigger. So I click on text. Immediately in this section, okay, a length of text has appeared. Okay, I haven't told it what it's going to be yet, but that's what it is. And up here it tells me that it will start at the beginning of my block, uh, the trigger, which is at zero, and this text will end three seconds later. That's the block start on the block end. Obviously here, in this field here, we can put what that text is going to be. I'm just going to put in there GPS. Obviously as soon as I do that, the word GPS appears on screen. I'm just going to um, colour that. So we can um, see that text. So the word GPS has appeared. Now this here is a timeline of that three seconds block start zero and block end three so if I move this along that GPS will say on screen for three seconds okay now if I all I can do here by clicking on here is change the color I can change the length so I can say no I want that to be four seconds and it will change that to a four second clip now to actually deal with the text itself and do some more stuff we have to remember that this is a length of video we can't change the video at all apart from the beginning state and the end state okay so you see all these values here if I click on this text you'll notice that I can't change them I can't move that GPS um, text there's nothing I can do with it okay but at each end of this clip there is a yellow bar okay that's where we edit what happens to this text okay let me give you an example if I go to the end bar here automatically all these settings now become live and I'm going to adjust the opacity here so I'm going to pull this right the way back so it disappears okay what now happens is the program program will automatically calculate all the video in between there and the start it's actually called tweening but that's that's what it's going to do so if i pull now pull this back that will fade in because the start bar the opacity is still set as normal but on the end state it has been set to see through so it will automatically work out that between there and there that's what's going to happen to the text and the same with scale if I go to the beginning click on the beginning bar and I change this scale to 2 now at the end the scale is 1 at the beginning it is 2 so now what's going to happen it's going to fade and it's going to get smaller so if I run this it's fading and it's getting smaller okay again if I click on here and not on these bars there's nothing I, I, I can't do anything here okay remember that you have to click on these yellow bars to do anything all right so let's let's try the next one let's go to rotation I want to tell it to rotate 360 degrees 
okay so I can click on the end bar here and I can type in here 360 on the rotation yeah now look what happens the GPS gets smaller it rotates and the color fades it's difficult to actually see there what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this end bar I'm going to change the opacity back so we can see the text okay so what's happening here the text is getting smaller and it's rotating 360 degrees so you can see that getting smaller better I'm going to go to the end here I'm going to change the scale to zero which is nothing obviously now you can really see that that's changing the scale and as I say in between these points the media tracker is working out all the frames for you okay now the one that most people get confused on and that is position X and position Y okay if I click on the start I can now with my right mouse button I can move this text wherever I want on screen okay and you'll notice that down here the position X and the position Y is changing as I'm doing that so say I want it up in this region okay this is now changed to completely different numbers what I do is I like to round things off so I'll just click on here and that is and I'll ch take those end values off it is now minus 0 0.1 okay and then this one is 0 0.7 all right so that's the position minus 0 0.7 on the x and 0 0.7 on the y now if i now play this the problem is the end frame is still stuck at the begin at the default value which is zero so i've got to change the end frame to the same value as the beginning frame if i want this text to stay in the same place okay so i would click on the end i would change this to minus 0 0.7 and I would change this to 0 0.7 which are the values at the beginning okay what happens now is that GPS text will stay in the same place on the screen right people I hope this has explained the way uh, a little bit more that text works in media tracker I'll see you online